Okay, I think I just found the most underrated Quest 2 game ever? Since you're watching this video, I'm guessing you're looking for a new VR game to play, and if you're anything like me, you're tired of being recommended the same popular games. Hi, I'm Virtual Bro, and I'm always searching for the best VR games that are actually worth your time. In today's video, I'm going to show you what it's like to play this underrated quest game, and I'll explain why I think it's so amazing. Today's hidden gem is Broken Edge, and here's why you should give it a try. Hello. I like to bow before every duel, just as a courtesy. And they follow, I love that. Let's bow. See if he does the same. Yes! <laughs> the closest thing I can compare it to is Mortal Kombat in VR. But no, not like that. What I mean is, it's a game where two online players will pick a fighter and duel in a single axis. Best of three rounds, but with a much more friendly art style. So it's just a VR fighting game. Yes! But no, it's not just a fighting game, it's... Okay, it's just a fighting game, but the way the game is designed feels groundbreaking, and I want to tell you about it. Most VR sword fighting games fall into two categories, physics-based or not. Games like Bone Lab and Blade and Sorcery, they prioritize simulating the weight and feel of fighting with real swords, and usually this means weapons physically collide with each other and often drag behind your hand to simulate the weight that prevents you from... well, doing this. You see, in Broken Edge, weapons are tracked one-to-one -one with the controllers, meaning that they're generally fast to swing and devoid of that simulated weight. And now I, I know, know that, that sounds bad, because usually that's a complaint from me too. I love physics games. However, here, something is different. You see, Broken Edge isn't as simple as it seems. You can't just swing your sword wildly at your opponent to win. And the problem I've seen is so many new players are turned off from the game because it's not explained very well. The fun part of Broken Edge, believe it or not, comes when you actually learn how it works. So how does it work? Broken Edge is essentially a fencing game. One touch of your awakened sword to your opponent's body and you'll win the round. Do this three times and you'll win the duel. But I did say awakened sword, so what does that mean? You see, your sword gains this sweet flaming effect when your blade is awakened, and you can think of this as powering it up. Only when your blade is powered up like this is it actually lethal to your opponent, so you always want it to be awakened. But how do you do that? I like to call them stances. Each class has a sword movement or position which awakens their blade. For example, the duelist awakens their blade by taking a fencing stance and keeping your blade pointed at the enemy. The samurai awakens their blade by quickly striking poses with cutting motions and the Barbarian awakens his blade by slowly swinging it around, as if building momentum. Are you starting to see what's so cool here? To effectively play each class, you have to adopt the fighting style and stances of that fighter. Every samurai player you play against will fight more or less like a samurai because the mechanics of awakening blades force them to move and fight like you imagine a samurai would. This is how you do immersive PvP. Every time I play as the pirate, my body adopts to the muscle memory of that class, and I fight like a swashbuckling pirate, twirling my sword around to awaken it, because I have to. Another really cool mechanic that this game has is that some classes have secondary weapons, or even three weapons, or even four or five, in the case of the pirate. The immersive gameplay extends to the way you can also use your class abilities, such as a temporary shield or regenerating your sword once. Each motion activated input is designed to make you feel and look like the class you're embodying. The quest controllers have, what, 10 input buttons on them? And this game only needs to use two of them because the motion controls are so good. It kind of reminds me of the sales pitch of the Wii, where your body is really the controller, not just the buttons on it. Even with the one-to-one -one tracked weapons, there's no threat of mindless slashing. Each strike has to be carefully considered because you're always one hit away from losing the round. And while the game isn't physics-based, it makes you simulate the weight of its larger swords by empowering them only when you swing them slowly, as if realistically. Ooh. I hit the top of his head, but because my sword wasn't awakened, it didn't count. This keeps fights fast and reactive, while also balancing the effectiveness of just having the longer reach sword. Well, that's not good. When your sword's broken, though, you have one more chance to regenerate it. And that's with a perfect parry. Just like that. 
here's what's so addicting about this. The skill-based progression that you feel as you get better with each class is just unmatched. Instead of unlockables and XP, you're grinding to figure out the best strategies for each character, learning the tactics that work best for each class against each class. I'm gonna go for a tricky move. I'm gonna bait her with this sword and hit her with the axe with my left hand. Really close. The best thing to do is to dodge backwards and then swipe away. Bait them into a stab, pull back, well, just like that, actually. <laughs> that was textbook. And remembering your skills and abilities? Okay, I do not feel equipped for this fight. Hello, Samurai. I shall bow to thee. With each defeat, you'll feel like someone has exploited a hole in your sword fighting strategy, and you will want to fix that. Your reflexes just sharpen as you practice and get better. So if you're tired of fighting dumb AI enemies and you want a real sword fighting challenge, try climbing the leaderboard of Broken Edge's ranked mode. It can get incredibly sweaty. Literally, I, I bought a fan for the inside of my headset because of this game. Really, the only thing missing is some variety in game modes. Maybe they should add a mode with a daily modifier that changes the gameplay in some way, giving players a reason to duel each day. But those are my thoughts on why you should give Broken Edge a try if you haven't already. If you have, let me know in the comments what you thought. Subscribe for more VR recommendations. I'm Virtual Bro. Thanks for watching. Yeah, things are not looking good for us here. No! Spare me. <laughs> what a finisher. <laughs>